Hey guys, welcome to the review show. My name is Austin Eternals. It's the newest Marvel movie, and this is basically about these uh, people that are internals where they live forever and they've been living on Earth and they let things, certain things happen because they were instructed to not get involved until now. Um, this was the one I wasn't really looking forward to. I'm not really that much, you know, I don't have that much information about the internals. I never really knew them from the comics or anything like that. So I was going in like this is like basically the first Marvel movie. I mean, Shang-Chi, I guess I didn't really know anything about, um, but it was like the, uh, the company, what is it, uh, the Ten Rings, uh, that I know somewhat about, so I, like, there's some information I know, but these guys, I just, I really don't know anything about, I, I don't, I don't know any of these characters, I don't know any of the Easter eggs, the post credit scenes didn't make any sense to me, uh, except for one, they, they weren't even that good in post credit scenes, to be honest, and that basically just gave that my feelings out about this whole terror movie. Um, this was definitely the weakest one in the Marvel. This is the first Marvel movie, like in the MCU, to have like the lowest you know, rotten score ever. This it has like a fifty six Rotten Tomatoes. It, it it's insane. I don't like. I don't know what Marvel was thinking. Like, cause this one just felt so boring like like I just it's not it's like that's not like a bad thing like I was interested in like it's like I like slow burn movies but it was just I just don't think it was executed very well like there's just a bunch of subplots uh, with certain characters it's like it just can't it doesn't really make any sense uh the deviants these whole entire things that these like you know they fight it's a, it, it doesn't it's it doesn't really has a resolution at the end, like it does, but it's just such an anticlimactic uh, movie. It's just, and the villain is so poorly done. It do, I'm like, okay, all right, cool. I think at this point we all knew that more, I think the, in the MCU was starting to, gonna go down. You know, we kind of saw it in the sequels a little bit after um, after the main guys got their sequels, like I think the only ones that are gonna do well right now is Thor: I Love and Thunder and um, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three. I think those are gonna be like the best ones that like that are coming out. Even Sp probably Spider-Man: um, uh, Far From Home. Is it? No, it's not Far. From, that's the sequel. Uh, no Way Home. I, it, it, they're basically all the same house. Um, I didn't really enjoy Spider-Man: Far From Far From Home. But I'm intrigued about the new Spider-Man, so it's just like I think this is where Marvel is just really going to start going downhill, and I think this is the first one that really fails. And I and this is a good opportunity for DC to take the lead um, with the Batman movie that's coming out in March, because after Spider-Man, there is nothing. There is no Marvel movies coming out for a while, not until like you know summer, so uh, next year summer. So DC has a lot of um, work to do, and they can take the lead easily. And this doesn't this doesn't help. Uh, this was like the like this movie was so bland. Um, it felt it even felt like a DC movie. It felt like a Justice League movie with you know with you know you know like Superman. I I don't really even know his name. I don't even care for his name. But you know the Superman figure. Um, there's basically a Flash in this movie. Uh, it's, it's, I don't understand. I thought Kamel Minaji, I hope I said his name right, but I hope he was the best part of this film. He's the one that was like the funniest thing. I, I laughed out loud. All the other jokes, I was like, eh, it, I mean, okay. I mean, I, like, it, like you can tell from the trailers that this wasn't gonna be, you know, the MCU funniest movie. Like, it, you can tell that the jokes were just stale and that they kind of just start they're starting to run out of jokes but he basically holds this film up i really liked him he kind of has like an anti-climatic also ending it just his character just disappears from the whole entire film and the third act i'm like oh okay all right that's that's cool um i i mean you give him a reason but it's like i don't it's like you still can have him like everyone else is like fighting, but he's just he's just gone. Like he's literally the only character that is gone from the third act. 
Um, it's re I, I just don't understand uh, the writing on that part. It's gonna sound bad, but I'm kind of glad that this is somewhat not doing well because every like every studio now these days is trying to be like the MCU, and so if they start seeing that these movies aren't doing too well, they will start they might do their own thing, and, you know, try to be original in some form way and not try to be funny all the time. I, I, I'm trying to put some positivity into this for other studios, maybe. Um, like, this is like, you know, there's, there's always like, you know, everything's going to come to an end at some point. Like, your movies are just, you're just going to start going downhill at some point in, you know, your series that you're trying to do in this franchise, whatever you want to call it at this point. So, I'm kind of glad that this one isn't doing somewhat well. And I'm kind of disappointed at the same time. But we all knew. We we just all knew. The fight scenes were pretty good at first, but that but that final third act was just so boring and so anticlimactic and big CGI, which make I mean that's the MCU that like that's the formula. But it's just like it was not like you know good good MCU um, third act that we all know with you know with the big fights. It's just like so anticlimactic, like I said multiple times. I'm gonna give the Eternals a C minus. I I'm like between a D plus and a C minus on this. Like it, it was, it's like a hard decision for me, and I'm I don't know. I, I I really don't know what else to say. Hopefully you guys got enjoyment. I think the audience are really enjoying it from the looks of the Rotten Tomatoes. They're giving like a B plus at like those like an 86 on Rotten Tomatoes, which is I guess good. But th like for critics wise, they they are really going hard on this, and so. Which is, I think, which is good. I honestly think that is good because then it's a wake up call to Marvel. It's a wake up call to Disney that, like, okay, you know, you're starting to, you're starting to, you know, drag, you know, this corpse around for like another ten years or so. So it's like, it's, it's time to, you know, if you want to keep on going, um, you know, making these movies, you need to start changing the formula up. So. Yeah, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys thought about internals down below in the comment section below. Um, don't remember, uh, I have a Discord link that is down below with the information. Uh, follow me on social media and uh, Twitch um, and check out my gaming channel. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. And like always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.